All right, this video is on a product raised to a power. All right, so let's look at something, uh, say like 2x to the fifth, y to the fourth, all raised to the third power. All right, so the base for this exponent 3 is all of this that's inside the parentheses, the 2x to the fifth, y to the fourth. That's all. Um, the base for the exponent 3. Um, this is also just one one thing inside the parentheses here. Uh, that's all multiplication. 2 times x to the fifth times y to the fourth. This is a product. Each one of these pieces, the 2, the x to the fifth, and the y to the fourth, those are called the factors of this particular product. All right? So as we know from before, we know that this we could rewrite this as 2x to the fifth y to the fourth times 2x to the fifth y to the fourth times 2x to the fifth y to the fourth. Not a very good looking four there, but okay. Alright, got three of them multiplied together. Well then what does that give us? Well we have, all this is multiplication, remember? So we have 2 times 2 times 2. We can rewrite that as 2 to the third power. Right, just from previous knowledge. Then we have x to the fifth times x to the fifth times x to the fifth, which is x to the five plus five plus five, which is fifteen. All right, remember because you're multiplying two things, they have the same base. You keep the base and add the exponents. All right, same idea with the y's. Y to the fourth times y to the fourth is y to the eighth, and y to the eighth times y to the fourth is y to the twelfth. Everybody see that? All right, and yeah, 2 to the third is equal to 8, but I want to leave it looking like this for the moment just to get something across. All right, so what's the relationship between our original expression and where we ended up here? All right, so that 3, that exponent that's outside the parentheses there, um, got multiplied times all of the, times the exponents for all of the individual factors inside uh, the base. Everybody see that? Because this is like 2 to the first. 1 times 3 is 3. And then 5 times 3 is 15. And 4 times 3 is 12. That's where this is coming from. But this is only because we have one term inside the parentheses here. There's no plus or minus or anything like that. We'll have to deal with those at a later date. Okay. So this idea is called a product. This is a product. right? One thing there, all these things will be multiplied together, raised to a power. Right, so a product raised to a power. So we can generalize this up to be the following note. Right, to raise a product to a power, raise each factor of that particular product to that power. Right? In math language, that would look like this. So a times b, all raised to the n power, would be a to the n times b to the n. Right? But we can actually uh, generalize that up even more. I like to think of it this way. Right, so you have a to the m times b to the p, all of that's raised to the nth power. And then you get uh, um, a to the m times n, right? You multiply those exponents together, times b to the p times n, multiplying those together. So it's combining up that raising an exponential expression to a power uh, discussion that we had earlier. All right, so let's try a couple of examples. All right, simplify. Negative 3x to the 7th, all of that raised to the fourth power. All right, well, negative 3 is one factor. x to the seventh is another factor. So we want to, uh, we can raise each factor. Notice I've got parentheses around that negative 3 because we're saying all of negative 3 is raised to the first power. And then, you know, 1 times 4 gives you 4. And then x to the seventh raised to the fourth power. The 7 and the 4 get multiplied together to give you 28. Or we could just simply write this as negative 3 to the 4th, which is 81, x to the 28th. Everybody see how that works? Okay, let's try this one. Negative 2xy to the 4th, all of that raised to the 3rd power. All right, so again, it doesn't matter how many factors we have inside here, as long as this, it's all multiplication, then we can... Um, take each one of these factors, and in this case negative 2, and raise it to the 1 times 3, which is third power. You got x to the first inside here, 
So 1 times 3 gives you 3 as well. And then y to the 4th, all of that raised to the 3rd, we get 4 times 3, which gives you 12. So then all of this goes to, let's see, negative 2 to the 3rd. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. x to the 3rd, y to the 12th. Okay, everybody see how this is working? All right, what about this one? Looks a little different, but notice that we still have a product going on inside the, the base for, for the 2 here. The two factors are 7 and x minus 3, because this means 7 times x minus 3, right? So x minus 3 is all one factor, 7 is, is, is the other factor. And so we can raise each factor to that 1, there's an exponent 1 here, so 1 times 2 is 2, and then x minus 3. What's that exponent on the x minus 3? Inside here, it's a 1. Remember, if we don't write it up there, it's understood to be a 1. So you get that 1 times 2, which gives you 2. And then this goes down to 7 squared is 49 times x minus 3 squared. Now, this does not go to x squared plus 9. You do not get to square each individual part that's inside the parentheses here because this is not a product. This is a difference. Right? This is a difference for the base, not a product. Up here, look at this. This is a product for the base. A product for the base. And this is a product. 7 times x minus 3. That's a product for the base um, as the base for the exponent 2. Right? This is not a product. The x, these are not factors. Right? This is a difference. So we do not get to rewrite that as x squared minus 9 or x squared plus 9. We do not get to do that. Right? We'll deal with this uh, later on. All right, make sense? Okay, go practice, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.